RCS now is really a group of companies. We make equipment that monitors internal corrosion. Corrosion that occurs inside of pipelines and tanks, process equipment, because our customers spend billions of dollars on chemical inhibitors, uh, much of it um, uh, by way of overdosing, if you will. Uh, our equipment actually imparts the ability to uh, more accurately control that and measure its effectiveness. RCS, uh, Rohrbach Kosasko Systems, stems from Rohrbach and Kosasko. Uh, there was a Dr. Gil Rohrbach. He was a pioneer in the field of corrosion monitoring. He developed the method of electrical resistance corrosion monitoring. Uh, in parallel to that, there was a company which eventually became Kosasko, and they developed a method for gaining uh, access to high pressure systems without the need to depressurize them, which is a, um, a major consideration for oil and gas operators. The Casasco access system became somewhat of an industry standard and over the years really built on a reputation for quality and robustness and durability and reliability in the field. And I think it was about in the mid 80s that Rohrbach and Casasco came together and formed Rohrbach Casasco Systems that created two pillars to the business, basically. You've got the access system, uh, and then you have the instrumentation, which married up uh, produce corrosion monitoring systems, which is what we sell today. When we acquired RCS in 2003, we embarked on a, a program of opening regional offices and focusing on the sale of online systems. So we opened offices in uh, the UK, the Middle East, China, Singapore, Perth, Edmonton in Canada. Uh, we have a, an office in Houston, of course. And for a small company, uh, we have a global footprint. And I am surprised frequently at the perception of RCS as being a much, much larger company. Our major markets are the Middle East, Asia. Uh, we, we sell a lot of stuff into Europe uh, and uh, the North Sea. Uh, Latin America and South America are big markets for us. And of course the home market here in the U.S. is quite large. And today we have about 140 permanent employees and I think about 90 of those are in the U.S. Our main manufacturing facility is here in Santa Fe Springs, California, which is the Los Angeles area. We have 35,000 square feet here. The customer service group here supports all of the satellite offices in, in shifting the customer service function to the regions, we have tried as much as possible to really make them an extension of the customer service department here. The HALM acquisition, I think, occurred at a very good time at this company's point in history. It was a good time to sell because of the nature of the business. We certainly need deeper management ranks. We certainly need more science in the way we run the business. And when I say science, I mean business science. Uh, we need up-to-date manufacturing systems, operational uh, systems, things like lean manufacturing. We need access to talent. We really do. And I think that it's a lovely thing to be able to sit down with, uh, with people who are not in your immediate company but are in the family so that you can, you can discuss things openly without fear of letting a secret out to a competitor or something like that. It's somewhat of a culture change. But it needs to happen. It needs to happen if you're going to go from $45 million to 90, you've, you've got to have better systems in place for forecasting and planning your business than we had. Um, so it's a good thing.